In the previous checkpoint, we looked at the voltage and current output of a transformer. In the derivation, we made a few assumptions given that the transformer was ideal. Can you remember what these assumptions are? The ideal transformer has the following three features. Firstly, it assumes that there's no flux leakage throughout the soft iron core, so both the primary and secondary coils have the same magnetic flux throughout them. Recall that this was used to show that the ratio of the magnetic flux linkage between the secondary and primary coils was proportional to the number of coils. Secondly, it assumes that the transformer was 100% efficient, so, no, so the power output equals to the power input and there is no energy lost. Recall that this was used to show that the current was inversely proportional to the voltage between the two coils. And lastly, it assumes that the resistance of both the primary and secondary coils are zero, so there's, there will not be any jaw heating or energy loss due to the current flowing through the wire. However, needless to say, in the real world, these assumptions do not hold. Many factors reduce the efficiency and cause power losses in the transformer. Four factors are important to know for now. Firstly, some of the magnetic field lines produced by the primary coil do not link well with the secondary coil, reducing the EMF, EMF, uh, EMF induced in the secondary coil. However, the, pre the presence of the iron coil maximizes the flux linkage between the primary and secondary coil. For example, when designing an EI shape, the secondary coil is formed on top of the primary coil and the iron coil forms a closed loop. Secondly, in the process of magnetizing the iron and reversing the magnetization wherever the current reverses, energy is used, heating up the iron core, resulting in more power losses. Soft iron is used because it is directly magnetized and demagnetized, so the direction of magnetism can change rapidly with the change of the current, hence reducing the power loss. Thirdly, another cause of power loss would be the heating effect due to eddy currents induced in the iron core induced to oppose the current flowing through the coils. And that is why iron cores used in transformers are usually laminated, so the gaps cut across at the path of any induced uh, eddy currents. And the last major cause of power loss is the heating effect of the currents in the copper wires of the coils. To reduce this, thick copper wires of low resistance is used, particularly for coil carrying high currents and low voltages. And these four design features help to reduce power loss in a transformer.